Marley from The Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Thursday, April 20th. So welcome to a very busy, very crazy day in the cosmos. We have the new moon solar eclipse in Aries taking place at 29 degrees, which is a whole vibe within itself. Please go listen to the astro forecast that I put out for that. Download your moon guide, listen to your zodiac forecast, get your Aries season e-guide out and journal and grasp and jot down all the craziness, all the confusion, all this, the cray cray elements that are coming up with this and very important trigger and activation taking place in our karma. Okay. The second wild thing about today is that we are wrapping up Aries season and just hours after we peak with this new moon solar eclipse energy in Aries, the sun will move into Taurus season, initiating Taurus energy. Please go ahead, listen to that astro forecast to understand what Taurus season is all about. It is going to be a little bit of a wackadoodle one this year just because we're under the influence of eclipse energy. And the third element is retrograde season. Mercury will be going retrograde in this Taurus energy literally in 24 hours. So we have a major new moon solar eclipse event. Fast forward a couple hours, the sun moves into Taurus energy. Fast forward a couple hours, Mercury goes retrograde. Talk about a doozy. So with that being said, there is a lot of energy, a lot of craziness, a lot of chaos, a lot of ascension symptoms kicking in. Please listen to this week's ascension forecast. If you haven't already, get a good idea on the physical ailments that are going to be popping off because of the energy popping off because of these cosmic events. Now we have nine different aspects here today. Seven of them involve the moon. So also, let me just throw this in here. Uh, The moon will be moving out of Aries energy, moving into Taurus energy, like right after the eclipse takes place. So the moon actually moves into Taurus energy before the sun moves into Taurus energy. And let me just say to you, there's a lot going on. Okay. This is very, very crazy. This is very unlike, this doesn't happen too often. We are experiencing some milestone events here that many of us have never been alive for. So if you're wondering why you're all out of sorts, why you don't know what's going on, you can't tell left from right up from down. It's because we're in a cosmic shit show right now. And um, yeah, we just have to learn how to ride the wave. So seven of these uh, moon events here involving the moon is going to be a transition from the eclipse energy to the moon moving into Taurus before the sun moves into Taurus before Mercury goes retrograde. I know that's a mouthful. I know that's a lot, but that's the stage that we're in. So the moon is going to conjunct the sun. That is what gives us our new moon. That's when they're sitting beside each other, basically on top of each other. And again, this is an eclipse moon. So please go ahead, do all the things, tap into all the resources that I put out there so that you can understand what we're about to walk into. This is setting the tone not only for this eclipse season, for next eclipse season, but for the next two years and technically the next 10 years and full circle the next 20 years. That's the whole eclipse vibe. Dive into that. uh, Really just kind of familiarize yourself with what this eclipse season is all about. So we have this new moon eclipse event take place. Then boom, the moon goes void of course. Things get shaky. Things get unstable. Things get uncertain. But hey, we're in eclipse season. We're in retrograde season pretty much. We're shifting from one season to the next. So uncertainty, instability, confusion, chaos. It's just a whole vibe. It's just a whole thing. We really couldn't, for the life of us, pinpoint where all of this confusion, instability, and craziness is coming from because there's just too many aspects right now that are contributing to mixing the confusion pot, if you will. So we have the moon go void of course. We lock into Taurus energy 15 minutes later. Okay, so it's a very short time that the moon is void. Thank goodness. So we lock into this Taurus energy. Then the moon in Taurus energy squares with Pluto. Pluto's the great transformer. He's at a zero degree in Aquarius energy. 
Aquarius energy is a fixed sign. Taurus energy is a fixed sign at a zero degree. This is what gives us our square. We're getting into the boxing ring. We are fighting it out. We are being illuminated to where tension and conflict is alive and well. And this Plutonian energy wants us to change, wants us to transform, wants us to understand where it is that we have to kind of flip the switch in our psyche, rewrite a couple of things as far as our pain and trauma story goes, show us where it is that we can take control over our inner realm the best that we can, and of course, illuminate us on where it is that we need to rebuild, restructure some of the thoughts, some of the emotions, some of the boundaries that we have in our lives. Is this going to feel good? No. Are we going to know that it's this aspect that's making us not feel good? No, it's just going to be piled on the other aspects that are creating a lot of intensities within us at the moment. Now, the moon is going to go ahead, bump into Mars. Mars, of course, ruler of our physical energy, our passion, our desire, even our anger. Mars is the masculine energy. The Taurus energy that the moon is currently in is the feminine energy. Venus rules over Taurus energy. Yes, Mars is not at its best place here in Cancer energy. We are kind of all up in the emotional realm. We are recognizing where it is that we are overly attached to the past. We are recognizing where new foundations need to be built, especially in taking care of ourselves, nurturing ourselves back to a place of safety, security, and stability. And this is a positive interaction, which screams we're being inspired. We're being motivated. There's a new level of determination rising to the surface to really help us kind of push through the block the challenges, the obstacles that we are currently facing in trying to make some of these changes actually root in, anchor in, take place in our physical realms. At 4.14 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time, we will have the sun shift into Taurus energy. Please go ahead, listen to that astro forecast, because this is not our typical Taurus season, nor will it be the typical Taurus energy. Again, we're in eclipse season, we're in retrograde season, everything is a little bit cray cray. The moon in Taurus is going to come up to, sit next to, bump into, conjunct the North Node in Taurus energy. This is a, I'm going to say, this is a relief. This is a weight being lifted. This is a new level of wanting to grow, wanting to change, wanting to improve. Now, you might not know what it is that you need to do in order to, you know, push yourself forward, but that's neither here nor there. This is an inner realm unconscious activation. So we are kind of being pulled and drawn into a perspective a direction, if you will, that is going to feel good. And again, we're at the mercy of the cosmos here. So it might not be a conscious thing or us taking actions to do this. This might be just an emotional reaction to an aha moment that we're like, yep, yeah, this is this is our thing. This is our jam. This is what we're being called to pursue. That is that north node trying to get us on the right path. That is our soul point. That is our destiny point. And right now we are feeling inspired. We are feeling motivated. We are feeling determined to do what we have to do to actually move on, to evolve, to grow. The moon in Taurus will then sextile, which is a beautiful energy with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, soul contracts, structures, foundations. And of course, Saturn is in Pisces energy, which is about endings and closures. It's about our spiritual selves, our soul selves, the emotional processing that we have to go through in order to bring a chapter to a close in order to start a brand new one. What we're recognizing here is I'm not going to say the weight because weight kind of is something that none of us want to carry, but we're recognizing the weight of the change of the roles and responsibilities that we're walking into, the shift of karma, the shift of the path, the shift of the direction. And we are honestly bossing up and willing to take on whatever it is that we need to take on in order for us to grow, for us to evolve, for us to like level up to the next chapter of our lives. The sun, now in Taurus energy, shining a bright light on what it is that we have to build, what it is we have to bring to life, what it is that we have to create, is going to get into the boxing ring, square off with Pluto. 
Pluto is in Aquarius energy. We have this square because the sun is at a zero degree in Taurus energy, a fixed sign, and Pluto is at a zero degree in Aquarius energy, a fixed sign. What do fixed signs not like to do? They do not like to change. The sun is showing us what we have to do in order to create a new reality for ourselves, which of course involves a lot of change. Pluto, the great transformer himself, is all about change, but that change has to happen in our inner realms between our heart and our head before we can engage the physical body to take action in our physical realms, to reorganize, restructure our physical circumstances to mirror back to us the realizations, the epiphanies that we're having in our inner realm. So what we're kind of, I'm going to say, being illuminated to with this particular energy is where we're resisting change where we're stuck in our old ways, where we are using our old experiences, our old circumstances as an excuse in order not to grow. So there is this conflict here, because again, we just had a beautiful interaction with Mr. Karma himself, supporting these changes, supporting this growth. Now we are intensely realizing what's that that's going to require of us. And of course, just as we realize our dreams and our visions and our goals, we realize the fears, the doubts, the insecurities that are going to block us from actually moving forward. The moon then interacts with Venus. Venus rules over the Taurus energy that the moon is now in. Venus rules over Taurus season. She is essentially in a place of empowerment. However, she is transiting through Gemini energy, which is not her most favorite. Why? Because it takes us out of our heart space and puts us into our head space. And now we are trying to think our way through how it is that we feel about our routines, our relationships, our money matters, basically our happiness, our joy, our safety, our security, our stability. This interaction, although it's not a positive one, isn't necessarily a negative one either. But what it does offer us is an observation point, a choice point, a crossroads point. Now, the wheels are always spinning with Venus being in Gemini energy, wondering if the grass is greener, wondering how we can spice our lives up, wondering how we can kind of disrupt our boredom. But the moon in Taurus just wants us to be present, wants us to be in the here and now. But what happens is that when we're in the here and now and we kind of connect with our five senses and bring that data from our outside world into our sensory processing in our inner realms, we're realizing that we're not so happy. We're not so keen on staying still like our emotions would prefer us to do right now. Everything is swirling. Everything is changing. And we're really having to put a lot of thought into what makes us happy, who makes us happy, and what it is that we want to build and create from here. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Taurus semi-squaring, which is a little bit of a tension point, with Neptune. Neptune, of course, is in Pisces energy, in its place of power. This is going to be a disconnect with our intuition, with our higher selves. Now, if you listen to my eclipse rant, you would know that the eclipse energy was meant to block us from our higher selves, block us from our intuition, so that we're very concentrated on what our ego identity, our ego avatar needs here in the physical realm, in our physical body. So this disconnect is like reaching. We want to feel like our intuition is guiding us. We want to feel like we are connected to the higher sources of intelligence. But right now, we are just very stuck in this present moment. And to be honest with you, with all of the energy swirling, it literally does not feel safe, secure, stable, or comfortable to stay present in the here and now. We want to escape. We want to live in La La Land. We want to disassociate. We want to kind of run away from our reality, but we can't. So it is very, very recommended that you lean all the way into your uncomfortability and identify what it is that is triggering that, activating that, and what it is that you could build in the place of these particular triggers and activations in order for you to feel better about yourself and about the current circumstances that you're actually in. Mm -hmm.